Hi there, I'm Joanne from TrueAuthenticPower.com from Tapping.me, and I'm also the creator of the program Catapulting to Confidence. I wanted to do a tapping today and a little discussion about the hurt when they don't listen or understand. I can't tell you the number of people that I have seen comment on this. They're going after a dream, they're going after a goal or desire, and they get knocked down or minimized or, oh, you can't do that or get a real job or whatever. You know the story. And if you're listening to this, it's probably because you have experienced the hurt when they don't listen or understand. And I wanted to do a tapping on it because some people who have been encouraged or have been told you can do anything or you can be anyone, go after your dreams, they don't quite understand maybe to the level of someone who has had that. And it can be really devastating on top of being nervous of your goals and dreams or the things that you really do want. It doesn't even have to be a goal. It can just be something that you desire. When people around you are minimizing your feelings, minimizing your thoughts, criticizing how you're doing it, it creates kind of a secondary pain, a sadness, a hurt that goes deep And that doesn't normally start in adulthood. That normally starts a lot earlier, although it can be shocked or triggered by something that happens in later years. Most of that programming may have been done unconsciously and not necessarily even on purpose, though it can be done on purpose too, by parents, teachers, coaches, uh, older siblings, people around you, friends, snarky friends. It can happen from anybody at any time. My point is, if you have taken that into your heart, if you have buried the anger or the hurt or the frustration, you may keep reliving that pattern and drawing to you. You know, law of attraction is not new. That's been around for a long time, you know, way back to the books of Think and Grow Rich and even before that. So this is not a new concept, but people don't necessarily understand that You can't always just think differently and it will turn around. In fact, I've worked with a lot of clients that tried to do just that and they weren't getting anywhere because it was rooted in a belief system of they don't listen, they don't understand, I'm not being heard, and I feel minimized, diminished, whatever those words may be for you. So I wanted to do a tapping specifically on this topic for those people who have experienced that, who did have people in their early age program them to believe that you just don't matter, you don't count, your voice isn't important. And a lot of people do that with children unknowingly that they are really taking away their voice and something that maybe their little heart and soul needs to express or be heard about. So we're going to do some tapping on this. So I want you to tune into something of A specific person really would be a good idea of who shuts you down. Now, before we do that, I just want to give you some examples. So this was a loop for me, and this is why I understand it. When I was in early years, it's not that people were ignoring, but they were coping. They were coping with their own lives and not really educated about the things of what children might be needing. You have children, you raise them you're, you know, the ruler of the roost kind of thing. And it wasn't in a mean detrimental way. It was just kind of subconscious. But then I got the same message at school. Don't speak, don't talk. And there was a whole whirlwind of kids that had tonsillitis and tonsillectomies because that's where your voice is housed in the throat area. It's not by coincidence that the body was speaking with those flames of, you know, anger or frustration when you're always shut down When you're not heard, if you're minimized by older siblings, which I also had that, they were significantly older than I was. And so, you know, where did I have a voice? Not really at home, not at school. There wasn't an outlet to be heard. So that's kind of how a pattern can start. But fast forward, what was replaying was I was constantly given advice. There wasn't a lot of... um, There weren't a lot of avenues for me to express my thoughts without being shut down or being told, you know, take the emotion out of it or, you know, here, do it this way when those people had never lived in my shoes. And to minimize someone else's feelings is really, it's kind of a jab. People don't necessarily mean it that way all the time. These were well-meaning friends that were trying to help, but they were trying to get me off of my feelings, which was the pattern. It was a very long-standing 
pattern. And so while you can get frustrated and angry, you want to address the pattern of when those things happened and how you were diminished and disregarded and made to feel like your opinion didn't matter. So what can happen from that point in time is that you learn to shove things under. And that's what built up anger is. That's what depression is because that's anger turned inward where it didn't get to be expressed. You didn't get to process those feelings or emotion. So we're going to do some EFT on this and I'm assuming you know how to tap and you'll take responsibility for your own feelings as they come up. If you're in some big, deep depression or big hole in your life, you may need some professional help. But if this can take the edge off a little bit and maybe give you some inclination of why this is happening, tap along and see if it helps. I'm assuming you're knowing where to tap, so I'm going to call out the points. Just follow along as best you can if you're new to tapping, and uh, here we go. So let's start on the karate chop point, which is on the side of the hand. Take a deep breath first as you're tapping. And as you're tapping on the side of your hand, I want you to call to mind a person that used to diminish you, shut you down, discourage you, disregard you. And think about what they used to say or look like as they were doing that. Kind of really tune into that person. You can close your eyes, get really into this. Because the more you break apart the pattern, then it will stop reoccurring. See their face, hear their tone of voice. And go back as early as you can to the episode where you remember people doing that to you. Could be a teacher, parent, sibling, coach, someone around you. And as you tune into that, let's start tapping and repeat after me. Even though it really hurt me when they didn't understand. They didn't listen or hear me. Maybe they didn't know how, but it still hurt. And I'm not going to rationalize why they did what they did. I'm going to tune in to what it felt like for me. And where I might be feeling or holding that sensation right now. even though it really still hurts when people diminish or disregard my feelings. I'm not a robot, I'm a human with feelings. And it hurts me when they shut me down, give me advice, tell me how to do things that they've never experienced, Or make it like they're the expert and I know nothing about my own feelings. I want to love, honor, and regard my own feelings. Even though I remember feeling so diminished, disregarded, discouraged, talked down to and it really caused me to feel anger and frustration and maybe even a whole lot of hurt because I wanted them to hear me and understand I love, honor, and accept how this all felt for me back then and how it still continues to feel when it replays. Eyebrow, feeling so discouraged and diminished. Side of the eye, when they disregard my feelings. Under the eye, or try to shut them down. Under the nose, it really hurts and causes me to feel angry. chin and I remember this pattern 
collarbone. I remember back to when it first happened. Under the arm or the replays that happened. Wrist. It might have started in my early years. Top of the head before the age of seven. Eyebrow when I was really impressionable. Side of the eye. And I believed those adults around me. Under the eye. And it really hurt. Under the nose because they didn't understand. Chin. I didn't feel like they heard or listened to me. Collarbone. And I became so frustrated. Under the arm. So shut down. Wrist. As if I didn't matter and neither did my opinion. Top of the head, so fast forward. Eyebrow, I may hear that same tone in some people around me now. Side of the eye, I may see that same look on their face. Under the eye, and the replay keeps happening. Under the nose, I want to be heard. Chin, how do I break apart this pattern? Collarbone, I'm doing it right now as I tap. Under the arm, and I can feel it in my body. Wrist, as I tune into this feeling. Top of the head, the hurt and sadness. Eyebrow, the frustration and anger. Side of the eye, my body may be starting to speak. Under the eye, as if to say, that's where it is. Under the nose, it may be in my throat. Chin, if I wasn't able to speak my truth. Collarbone, it may be in my heart. Under the arm, when I wasn't able to express my dreams. Wrist, it may be in some other part of my body. Top of the head, and I give it permission now. Eyebrow, to be heard and listened to. Side of the eye, releasing all the hurt. Under the eye, are you kidding? Under the nose, I'm still angry. Chin, and I have a right to be. Collarbone, or I may be feeling depressed. Under the arm, from all the backed up impacted emotions. Wrist, and I give myself some self-compassion. Top of the head to tap and express. Eyebrow to rant and rave if I need to in privacy. Side of the eye because I don't want to minimize somebody else. Under the eye, I don't want to continue this pattern for myself. Under the nose, and if I'm hurt, I want to honor those feelings. Chin, it's right for me to feel my emotions. Collarbone, I may be around people. Under the arm, who were taught not to feel. Wrist, so of course they would minimize my feelings. Top of the head. Of course they wouldn't know how to accept my feelings. Eyebrow, but I know how. Side of the eye. I know what I need. Under the eye. So if I think back to a person or situation. 
under the nose, remembering the sights, the sounds, and the feeling. Chin, maybe the look on their face or the tone in their voice. Collarbone, I allow any of my emotions to come through. Under the arm, as long as I'm in the privacy where no one else will get hurt. Wrist, this is my internal issue. Top of the head, and I give myself permission to feel what I feel. Eyebrow, choosing to feel better. Side of the eye, maybe they were wrong. Under the eye, maybe they didn't know any better. Under the nose, but I'm going to acknowledge my feelings. Chin, and break apart this pattern that was taught to me. Collarbone, through their actions and what they told me was right. Under the arm, emotions are important. Wrist, and I'm human, not a robot. Top of the head, I was given these emotions to help me, not hurt me. Take a deep breath. Now, as you're going back and remembering maybe an episode or a situation, call to mind what you saw or heard. Was there a raised voice? Did you freeze inside? Did you feel like, you know, I want to punch them? Did you feel like, uh, you know, not to do that, not to take this out on anyone because this isn't about them anymore. It's now about you taking care of you and breaking apart the pattern, but allowing those emotions to process If they never got a chance to process, they're still all locked up inside. So I hope this helps. It's an overview of what might be going on when they don't understand, when they're not listening, when they're not hearing what you need. Because as you change the energy and get the emotions up and out, either your need for them to approve or like or encourage will be diminished or it will change the energy where all of a sudden they do start giving you a different attitude or a different energy about your dreams or the things that you express. Or you may just want to move on from those people and other people will show up that can be like that for you. So a number of different ways can show up that will show you some of your energy has changed. And when that pattern leaves, oh my goodness, it feels so much better because you're not trying to prove yourself. You're not trying to jump up and down to say, hear me, hear me. You don't understand. You won't need to do that. Something will change in the energy when you break apart the pattern. So you can do this tapping over and over again. Feel free to use it over and over again. Anytime you feel like your toes have been stepped on or your voice has been squashed, come back to this and tap again. And until our paths cross again, this is Joanne from TrueAuthenticPower.com and Tapping.me. Bye-bye for now.